Hello everyone, and welcome to Changeling Gaming. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Canvas. Canvas is a level one play to learn game designed by Jeffrey Chin and Andrew Nurter and published by Road to Infamy Games for one to five players that takes on average 30 to 45 minutes to play. Canvas is a game about crafting brand new masterworks that match up with a few different artistic goals for those brand new artworks about to be painted by skilled craftspeople. Setup. Roll out the playmat. Shuffle the deck of art cards and place them into the art box. Slide out the top five cards into the five slots. In a standard game, shuffle the scoring cards and place out four at random or a scenario from the back of the rulebook. For a first game though, the game recommends using the variety, repetition, emphasis, and composition scoring cards. Take out the ribbons of each of the five different colors and place them nearby. Each player selects three backgrounds for their masterpieces, and if this is your first game, ensure those backgrounds are all in card sleeves. Each player also receives four inspiration tokens to start the game with. The player of your choice goes first. How to play. On a player's turn, they can do one of two things, acquire an art card or complete a painting. To acquire an art card, a player can simply take the card if it is in the first slot, and for every slot further, they simply place an inspiration token on every art card they are skipping over to acquire that other card. If a player does not have enough inspiration tokens to lay one on every card before their desired card, then they cannot take that card. If there are any inspiration tokens on the card being acquired, then they are added to the player's supply for future turns. After claiming an art card, slide the cards into the empty slot and the next card from the deck into the rightmost space. A player can have up to five art cards in their possession, at which point they must complete a painting. However, they can make a painting as soon as they have at least three cards that they want to slide into a painting background. Be sure to test out how the paint swatches overlap at the bottom, since which cards are in front of others will alter what is visible, and only the visible symbols will matter. When a player completes a painting, they slide exactly three art cards into the background sleeve of their choice. Then they check the visible symbols against the scoring cards and gain ribbons for any of the goals that they've accomplished. Note that in certain instances, it is possible to receive multiple ribbons of a particular kind. If, at any point, a player has a question about what qualifies for a ribbon, the reverse of each scoring card has clear examples to show what qualifies and what does not. Silver ribbons are awarded based on whether a silver ribbon bonus icon is present and met, with one silver ribbon being received per matching symbol. The game continues until all players have made all three of their artworks. Whenever a player completes their third art piece, their turn is skipped until all players are done. Scoring. To score up the artworks that have been crafted, each player gathers the ribbons of each color and compares that against the matching scorecard of that color to figure out how many points they get. So in this example, three blue ribbons would be worth 12 points, and two purple ribbons would be worth four points. In addition, all silver ribbons are worth two points apiece. Each player tallies their total score, and whoever has the highest total wins with ties being broken by whoever has the most inspiration tokens. So go out and prep your paintbrushes for rapid production of masterpieces worthy of eternal praise throughout history. Be sure to support your local game stores, whatever store that is for you. They are the lifeblood of our community. If you have any questions about the game, feel free to pose them in the comments below, or take a look to see if someone else has already answered it down there, and be sure to thank them if they have. If you want to learn more about what our ranking system means, check out this video here. And if you want to learn why we leveled this game what we did, check out this video here. And subscribe to learn when new videos come out. And remember, keep changing, keep gaming, have fun. Tip, it is better to focus on a few of the categories than to get a couple of ribbons in all of them.